Published in 2011, Delirium by Lauren Oliver is a captivating young adult dystopian novel that unfolds in a world where love is perceived as a sickness and eradicated through a surgical procedure when individuals reach the age of 18. The story revolves around Lena Haloway, the protagonist, who unexpectedly falls in love with a boy named Alex Warren. Their forbidden love compels Lena to navigate a society that vehemently opposes their connection. By exploring the potency of love in the face of an unjust totalitarian regime, the novel delves into themes of rebellion and defiance. Delirium serves as the first installment in a trilogy, followed by Pandemonium and Requiem. Lauren Oliver, the author, has also penned other noteworthy young adult novels like Before I Fall and Vanishing Girls. This guide is based on the 2016 paperback edition. Oliver draws inspiration for writing about love from Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who once asserted that all books revolve around either love or death. As Oliver's initial work centered on death, delving into the realm of love became a natural progression for her storytelling. Expanding the delirium universe, Oliver has written additional stories set within the same world. These stories, including Hannah, Annabelle, and Raven, are chronologically positioned between the first and second books. Another book, Alex, was released between the first and second installments as well. Later, all these supplementary tales were compiled into a single volume titled Delirium Stories. Delirium achieved significant acclaim, becoming a New York Times bestseller and garnering predominantly positive reviews. The novel's popularity also led to the development of a television adaptation. Although the pilot was initially declined by Fox, it was eventually picked up by Hulu and made available for streaming on a limited basis in 2014. Emma Roberts was cast as one of the main characters in the series. As the story commences, we are introduced to Lena, a 17-year-old residing in Portland, Maine. Like all other cities in the United States, Portland is heavily guarded with electric fences, preventing any movement in or out of the city. This restricted existence sets the stage for the captivating narrative that follows. In the confines of this world, the vast expanse beyond the city's borders is known as the Wilds, an untamed realm that lies beyond civilization. It is rumored to be inhabited by individuals known as invalids who have resisted the mandatory cure. However, the government vehemently denies their existence. Lena, on the cusp of her 18th birthday like everyone else, awaits the inevitable cure that will eradicate all intense emotions and prevent the perils of falling in love. In this society, love itself is regarded as a malady. Before succumbing to the cure, Lena plans to spend her summer with her best friend Hannah Tate. However, during Lena's evaluation, an oral examination designed to determine suitable mates, disruption ensues as a group of rebellious invalid stages a protest. Chaos erupts as the invalids release cows into the labs, and Lena catches a glimpse of a boy above, unabashedly laughing. Later, Lena encounters the same boy, now working as a security guard for the medical facilities. His name is Alex, and Lena presumes he has already undergone the cure due to the telltale scars behind his ear. Curiosity and intrigue consume her. Meanwhile, Hannah begins to explore forbidden territory by immersing herself in underground music and attending illicit gatherings. Lena grows increasingly apprehensive about the potential repercussions if Hannah's rebellious activities are discovered, causing a strain in their friendship. The rift between the two girls widens. In a turn of events, Alex approaches Lena at one of the unlawful parties. They engage in conversation, dancing, and ultimately agree to meet at the beach the following day. There, Alex divulges his secret to Lena, he is not cured but is, in fact, an invalid who grew up in the wilds. Currently living incognito in Portland, he is working for the resistance. Lena is overwhelmed with fear and flees, consumed by conflicting emotions and the profound implications of this revelation. Struggling to regain a sense of normalcy and safety, Lena becomes consumed by the fear of potential infection due to her association with subversive individuals. Both Alex and Hannah vanish from her life, leaving her matched with another boy by the government's algorithm. However, one fateful night, Lena learns that Hannah will be attending an illegal party and, driven by a sense of urgency, she ventures forth to warn her friend. Tragically, Lena arrives too late. Amidst the chaos of a random government raid, Alex emerges and saves Lena from the brutal onslaught orchestrated by the raiding party armed with batons and attack dogs. 
In the aftermath, hidden away from their pursuers, Lena and Alex share a transformative kiss, igniting the spark of love within Lena's heart. Gradually, Lena's perspective shifts as she uncovers the secrets and deceptions perpetuated by the government. Reconciling with Hannah, she confides in her about her blossoming relationship with Alex. The trio spends increasing amounts of time together as the summer unfolds. Lena's world expands as she ventures into the wilds alongside Alex, marveling at the freedom unfettered by rules and enclosing walls. However, a chilling revelation awaits Lena upon her return to Portland. Contrary to the narrative she was fed, Lena discovers that her mother, who she had been told died by suicide following failed curing attempts, has been imprisoned within a grim underground facility known as the Crips all these years. In a heart-wrenching twist, Lena finds that her mother has escaped and fled into the wilds. Overwhelmed by betrayal, both within her own family and society at large, Lena resolves to flee with Alex. Crafting their escape plans, their hope is shattered when they are caught one fateful night before they can make their getaway. Bound and held captive by her own family, Lena finds herself subjected to immediate scheduling of the procedure. In a desperate bid for freedom, Alex stages a daring rescue, and together they embark on a perilous race toward the border, relentlessly pursued by relentless government agents. Lena summons every ounce of courage and determination as she manages to scale the fence, breaking free into the untamed expanse of the wilds. However, Alex makes the selfless decision to remain behind, sacrificing his own freedom to ensure Lena's escape. As Lena flees deeper into the wilds, her heart aches with the bittersweet knowledge that Alex's sacrifice has granted her a chance at a life unrestrained by the oppressive regime. Thoughts of him linger in her mind, a constant reminder of the love they shared and the bravery he exhibited. With a mix of gratitude and grief, Lena resolves to honor Alex's sacrifice by embracing the newfound liberty before her. Despite the dangers that lie ahead, she carries within her the strength and resilience instilled by their bond. Lena's journey in the wilds becomes a testament to their love, propelling her forward as she navigates a world of uncertainty, fighting for her own freedom and the hope of a better future. Though separated physically, Lena remains forever connected to Alex, carrying his spirit within her as a beacon of courage and love. She is determined to make their sacrifice meaningful, forging ahead on a path that challenges the oppressive regime and seeks to dismantle the societal constructs that suppress the power of human emotions. As Lena treks deeper into the unknown, her resolve strengthens, fueled by the memory of Alex's selflessness. With each step, she embraces the wild and untamed spirit within her, determined to build a world where love is no longer considered a disease, but a beacon of hope, resilience, and human connection. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.